Hey everyone, we are back to do our downtown Asheville test. We have our waypoint set, and so we're gonna be on our way. First thing first is a blind right turn. The, if you right too long don't watch, um, blind left turn test wasn't worse, but also wasn't better. Um, I think it does a better job at creeping. What it doesn't do is it doesn't stay in the correct lane. Uh, this is the be this is a this is fine for where we're going. It needs to get over on the right lane though, um, because this lane ends. Um, if you're new to Asheville, like I was when I first started these videos, I mean, n mostly new like to the roads and everything. But um, I didn't know this was a left-only turn lane right here, so I have to get over. But what my car doesn't do is, is like it'll read the left turn lane um, symbol right there and not get over. It'll just kind of merge at the very end. It should turn this blinker on right now. It can see this is a left turn. And it turned its blinker on. Wow, okay. That's the first time it's ever done that. Uh, I, Good thing. Like It didn't turn the blinker on. It should have. But it squeezed in between two cars and um, got over at the appropriate time. That's, um, I'm happy with that. Um, I, honestly, that's pretty impressive, um, comparatively. Feet, enter the round that's great. And take the second exit. It's randomly turning the blinker on for some reason. Not sure why that is. My hope is they finally got the second exit. rid of these stuffed yields, and they have it. Um, okay. Uh, oh. No, let me enable let me enable it. Okay, I'm not counting a disengagement because I thought that car was um gonna come in my lane. Fortunately that ruined that roundabout. Sorry everyone. Um we'll have more. The new Belgium test will have more roundabouts. Um several roundabouts. But um it still unfortunately stops at the yield sign. Uh, so and then it launched into the roundabout, which is part of the problem, because uh, it was going too fast into the roundabout, and no I thought it was going to cut off the car. Off. So that's why I pressed the brake, but it wasn't necessary. Mm, like this is not acceptable to be in the parking spaces. I got out of them pretty quickly, so I think that's fine. I guess. Whoa, yeah, like that right there, not acceptable. I, what's it doing? I think it's trying to give more room for the blind turn right here. Interesting. I don't... I don't that's odd. So that's perfect stop for a stop sign. Right there, in my opinion. It doesn't no, dead I stop. I don't... Street. I think that should never happen. Um, I don't think there's any reason you need to be a full zero kinetic energy stop. Right, right, we're stopped too far back. Right here is the, is the line. Oh, the light is out. Huh. Oh, well, the red light was out. Interesting. I think the car behind. Is there a car behind me? Something beeped at me. Yeah, interesting. So that light was out. I need to see how the car recognized it. If it saw the light was there or... Or not. Um, I wasn't looking at the screen. This road coming up ahead is going to be a good test if it's been improved with map data. We'll see because it's always had all sorts of issues going through here. Okay, well it shouldn't have turned in the middle of the, the light. So that was a disengagement because it got into the side of the road there. That's incorrect. It should not be getting in that lane. Feet, turn right onto Patton Avenue. We have to go straight through here, not take a right turn. So fortunately, it didn't try to do it again. Side note. Wait, why was air? I thought I felt air blowing out the back. I I don't I don't like the HVAC on this change. Uh, I don't want the rear vents coming on. My dog doesn't need the heat. He's panting back there, and he doesn't want heat on in the back. He need he likes it to be nice and cool. And, um, yeah, and so I just turned it on. Random rant. 
I don't know why these people are waiting to cross. Okay. They could have crossed. Good. It didn't break for the pedestrians. That was good. Now turn right onto Patton Avenue. And see if it does. That's good. So it, like, it should keep on going. Ah, uh -huh, we have a truck in the way. In 500 feet, turn right onto Otis Street. Then turn right onto Wall Street. Okay, it should get over in the right lane here. It's doing it. That's that's improved. I wish that truck wasn't there, but I handled it well. Look, it's trying to get back over in the left lane. I will disengage if it tries to do that, because it shouldn't be trying to get over in the left lane. Especially with a car beside of me now. Like, I'm taking up part of this lane. This is accurate. Like, it shouldn't be doing that. Okay, so... Now turn right yep, disengagement. Now turn right onto Wall Street. So it definitely seems to be slightly less like crazy hesitant of people. Still not great. In five hundred feet. Oh, and they fix. I think they fix the speed limit on this road. Well, good. I don't have to drastically turn down the speed on this road. 15 is on, like, with the amount of... Okay. Oh, Got too close to the... to the pillar. Why does it keep on trying to no, go to destination the... destination is on the left. No. That's why. I really wish there was a way, like, once you get to your destination, it would just delete the point and just keep on going. Wow, it doesn't like people just chilling out right here. Now turn left onto Yep, Valley that was Park a disengagement Avenue. because it got too close to the railing. Got too close again to the railing. God, why did it break right there? Turn a little bit to the left. Yeah, see, it dropped off the, the ledge right there. So it needed to be a little bit further left. And then it's gonna speed up super quick to 35 mile an hour, which is not, again, I don't believe is the speed limit right here. So it's my turn. I'm telling the car to go. Yeah, that was a definite disengagement. Um, got too close to the curb and then like kept on turning when this guy wanted to um, um, go. You're not gonna have it. You don't have a turn single on, dude. What are you doing? Let's go ahead and make sure I record both of those incidents now there. Now turn left onto Battle Square. Hey everyone, so I think there were some marked improvements um, on this update. Some definite marked improvements. We're going to temporarily pull in here. So yeah, some marked improvements. Otherwise, I think it did a good job. Um, I don't think it did worse. That's that's the important part. It's not doing worse. It's not downgrading back. Um, there are a couple areas where I definitely did better. Um, so that's good. Uh, I hope to keep on seeing that. And to the next video, we're going to quickly get on to our new Belgian route. And we'll see you in the next video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.